Wow. And it's 6 nothing Oregon. Yeah, Blake's three on the way, and that's good. Gets it ahead to Steiger, gonna go to the hoop, slam it. And Tech back up 16. Here he wants to go into the middle. Backs his way, turns around, puts up a seven-footer. Go count the basket, it bounced three times on. It counts, he's fouled. On the shot clock. Turn around, good off the glass for McKim. Pioneers trying to get back in this one. They're gonna say it's an offensive foul. Holding his ground. Three from the left corner is good. Van Tassel drains it, and it's a 12 point. Oregon Tech lead here now. Pink from the top of the key, drains it. Puts up for a three, got it! The Spaniards, Spaniards and the Texters all on their feet. No good by Mitch, Faust the rebound. Get it back to Fink, Fink drives in, gets a two, Gary who lays it up and in, and that will end the first half of play with a score. Oregon Tech 45, Antelope Valley 24. Clock here down the stretch as they can. Approaching the seven minute mark as Fink steps back and drains it. 75-65 the final here today. Oregon Tech gets the 10 point win and punches their ticket to Friday. Wide open shooter, that one's good. Draining it is Seth Erickson. 16 9 year score. Nice feed inside from Fink. On the bench right now, so it's going to be Steiger who takes up. Three from the right wing. This time that one falls. Heap splitting a defender, goes right into the hoop and gets the bucket. Into the front court. Heap finds Albrecht who goes in for the slam. And the Owls have the one point lead. Just their second lead of the day. Three from the top of the key, that's good. Mitchell Fink helps his squad take their largest lead of the day. Pull away with hustle plays like that. Out rebounding on the offensive side. Here's that one drops. Faust, who's had a terrific game, steals this one away and is gonna go coast to coast for the Owls. He puts it to the largest lead of the day now for Oregon Tech. A terrific turnaround in the second half gives them a 12 point advantage and they've punched their ticket to the quarterfinals. Final score in this one, 84-72. Oregon Tech will advance, and they now look on to the defending national champion. We've got two of the top 10 teams in the nation getting ready to duke it out here tonight. Inside the lane, this one slammed home by Garrett Albright. Steiger too strong. Faust fighting hard inside, gets that one to go. Getting score with six points right now. This is Van Tassel. That's good. Now lots of contact, bodies flying as Erickson drains it from the right wing. Gets it up to the top of the key, three on the way, that was good. The outside, on the drive, Garrick floats it, that hangs and falls. It off to Fink, goes to work on Okafor, drives him to the baseline. Contact, fade away, that's good, and the foul. Fink into the front court, four seconds. Steps back for three, that's good. Fink hits it at the buzzer. Two days cut that pool in half. Inside and a big dunk for Albright to get things started. Times throughout this tournament as Faust spins inside the lane and that a good bucket. Fink down to 10 on the shot clock. Van Tassel for three. Top of the key to Erickson. Fade away from the free throw line. That's good. Plenty of time in this one. Drive and the finger roll finish for Fink. To the right wing, Faust. Outside, three on the way. Steiger for three, Fink with the rebound. Steiger out in front of everybody, goes in for the slam. Maxwell behind him, tried to get the block, but what a slam there for Steiger. Ball the top of the key, Van Tassel for three. What a big shot there for the freshman. Crosses over, Wade gets it outside. Faust for three, that's good. Faust goes to work, kicks it outside. Steiger for three, that's good. Points, second highest point total of any team in this tournament. That one's good for Albright. This one will wrap up. Oregon Tech knocks down the defending champion and advances with a 107-93 final. They'll await the winner of our next contest. 1,514 career points now. Erickson with another three. He stops, pops this one for three. Mitchell Fink. Far side to Cal Stevie. Wants to drive inside, put up a jump shot. Good, Cal Stevie. For 21 minutes in the win against Morningside. 
Nice feed inside, and Faust getting him back here and back to the Fab Four. Three for Erickson in the left wing, that's good. Then Castle wants to drive down, scoop it to the hoop, lay it in. Went around Matt Myers like he was standing still. Nice bounce pass inside the lane. Faust with the finish. Stops, gets it down low. Albright got contact. The bucket's good and the foul. Faust going to work on Galloway. His shot off the glass is good. Faust with 12. Just one senior on the squad, so they figure be making some moves around this tournament to type 29. McKim inside the lane, gets that to go. And a timeout called by the College of Idaho. The Yotes drive down, shot blocked. Paulo Thompson's shot was rejected out of nowhere. Kellen Garrick, little floater, nothing but net. And the lead is 20. He gets a little shove in the offensive foul. Brown Pinkney around that screen, tried to get a little separation. The fadeaway is good. Bates gets it down low and slam dunk to Albright. That was a nice pass from Faust. Oh my. Going back with a sure hand of Faust inside the lane. Back outside. Burge for three. To a 10 point game. Garrett from the baseline slams it with the left hand. Garrick with a big blast there from the baseline. To the top of the key to Erickson. Made away inside the lane and that's good. Going to dribble out, that's going to be your final score. It's going to be the Oregon Tech hustling out, going to the final, winning 93 to 81. Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the site for tonight's NAIA Division II National Championship. Spring Arbor and Oregon Tech squaring off Fink again off the window this time. Think about how good Oregon Tech used to be, and they're glad to be back at that level now. Look at the work on the offensive glass, and Tyson Faust. Score in transition. Fink from the elbow. Yes. Well, that is a pure jump shot. Lost it, but able to get it to a teammate. Now pull up in the lane, goes. Fink behind the back, or two defenders keying on him, but able to set up a teammate and Cal Stevie. Position, four blue jerseys back. Oh, and Garrett getting to that dominant left hand. There he is. Stevie with an answer three. Cal does it again. Long distance call from Cal. Their defensive communication has to step up. Garrick off his own miss. Get to the line, they have not done that at all. Hardly tonight. Look at the pitch ahead by Fink and the find by Burge. Tyler Heave with the finish. Up into Faust at 6-3, he likes to post. Erickson in the lane, scores. Defense. Garrick, tough shot. Foul on Meredith. Cal Stevie had a huge first half, adds another three. Teaming him off screen, Stevie. His huge night continues. Game. Fink frees himself. My goodness. Came back over his right. Erickson to answer, yes. Half court now on the right wing. Mitchell for a long three. He's fouled and one. Are you kidding me? Mitchell Fink. Fink all the way. Leaning in, tough shot. Goes. You know, and this group will be back, I promise you. They're motivated. and. They got a little bit of mojo now, and they know that they can they can compete. They know they're good enough to win a national championship. Um, and, you know, wouldn't surprise me one bit if we're right back here in a year.